Mid-morning Tuesday, our blue crew got a call out from a 7-meter boat with power failure and anchored about half a mile west of the blinker. On this trip's master Steve Dolgaris called in Ray Ron, Herb, Duncan and Richard. Duncan and Richard are both restricted coxswains, and they each need a handful of successful assists in various conditions and scenarios as acting skippers before going for full coxswain status. As Richard hadn't charged up the camera batteries overnight, Duncan was gracious enough to allow him to take the role of acting skipper on this occasion. The target vessel had given us a spot on location and throwing the heaving line, tow and shortening up all went smoothly, aided by the ideal conditions on the water this day. Good visibility, isn't it? Yeah. You want to sort of get to a point where you nearly where it is and, and yeah. stop. The target vessel wanted to be dropped off at the La Bolsa pontoon. With an incoming tide, we rafted her up on our port side and secured to the pontoon starboard side on. On securing the vessel to the pontoon, it was time for the paperwork. In performing assists, we often ask for a voluntary donation to cover our costs. This boat's owners are members of our Coast Guard Assist Scheme, which at $85 per annum represents great value. So their tow back to Malulaba cost them nothing. The flag down, please. Our journey from La Bolsa to our home pontoon was incident free. With such glorious weather this day, we almost hoped to get another assist, but it was not to be on this occasion. At the end of trip debrief, Richard was delighted to hear that all had gone well and that he'd taken one step closer to becoming a fully qualified Coast Guard coxswain. But still a long way to go.